In this question, we have to determine the Thevenin's impedance across the terminals 1 and 2. Okay. Since in this circuit, we have a dependent current source, we cannot go by the conventional method of replacing uh, a current source by an open circuit. Okay. So instead, what we will do here is, we will introduce a source into the circuit okay, across 1 and 2 and we will determine the relationship between the voltage and the current using that we can determine the Thevenin's equivalent impedance okay now first st first step is to introduce a source across 1 and 2 okay now let us redraw the circuit with a source okay let us denote this as v1 This is this current is IB given. This is ten kilo ohms and say this is V two hundred ohms. Now we have a dependent current source here as given in the question. Okay, current here is ninety nine. IB okay and finally we have the voltage source that we are introducing here okay so this is V and the current is denoted by I okay so this current here will be equal to I plus 99 IB okay we know that see since this uh, two resistors are in parallel v1 will be equal to v2 okay so what is v1 it is the resistance 100k into the current okay minus ib okay equal to 100 into this current the current that is passing through the 100 ohms resistor that will be equal to since IB and capital I plus 99 IB is coming here so it will be the sum of these two currents which is capital I plus anyway I will write it down first step as 99 IB plus IB okay now we have to simplify this okay to get a relationship between capital I and small IB IB is equal to 100 into I plus 100 IB okay so this 100 this 100 when multiplied becomes 10,000 that when taken to the left side will become added to so already existing minus 10,000 so minus get okay, 20,000 IB is equal to 100 into I now IB will be equal to minus I by 200 okay now the se first step is to determine a, a relationship between the current okay i and this ib in the second step what we will do is we will determine a relationship between this voltage and ib and hence we can use both these relationships to determine the relationship between v and i and uh, which gives us the impedance thevenin's impedance so v is, is equal to 100 into okay we are considering okay v2 here okay we will be equal to v2 since they are in parallel 100 into i plus 100 ib so that will be equal to 50 i okay after simplification so thevenin's resistance will be equal to v by i is so equal to 50 i by i equal to 50 ohms so the Thevenin's impedance here is equal to 50 ohms so the correct option is A.